My name is Conor Damari, 24, and current role, manager of Juicy Jerk. Uh, my name is Shola, I'm 20 years old, and my current role is a supervisor in Juicy Jerk. So I've been here since like 2020, COVID times, you know what I'm saying, when we, we, had, when we just had a delivery kitchen. And what year are we in 2022? We're basically here now, yeah. Since the start, when we was in our parents' kitchen, so probably like five years ago now. Um, before I joined the company, I had actually just finished uni. So I wanted to get into delivery, so you know what I'm saying? Because I thought like it would, it would be really, really easy because they're basically making money out of nothing. So I thought like it would be something new as well to get into, you know what I'm saying? That literally is the reason why I joined you to get back. As I said, yeah, we thought, yeah, we're just going to have a delivery kitchen, you know what I'm saying? That was the plan, but now we're so rigid now, you know what I'm saying? A level up, you know what I'm saying, yeah. My first serious role was a team trainer. That came about because I've been here from the start, so I kind of know the ropes to Juicy, so I was able to show that to all the new team members, basically. Oh, so my first role, as just a normal, like, chef, basically, at Juicy Jerk. But obviously, as time went on, I obviously wanted to like do better. A typical day at Juicy Jerk is crazy, literally, because like we have different types of customers because we're in Selfridges. So like we got people who work around Bond Street that come in to order from us. We got kids, you know, so who hear who hear about us on TikTok that wanna come in and check out what we're doing here too. And we got some moms as well, you know, we get a lot of like older moms and that come through to see what we're doing here too. We actually open at 12, so basically we get here for like 11 30, we've got 30 minutes to set up, but obviously. Because at 12 we get really, really busy with like the people working around coming in. Yeah, so we basically have to make sure that we're on point. The best part of the job, I think, is the customers, to be honest. Because to be honest, sometimes when I'm on sales here, the customers make me laugh. Like that, that, that they make it fun. Even without the customers, we, we really would not be here, to be honest. Best part of the job is just meeting new people. Um, everyone here is ambitious, so everyone that's on your level, it's good to have friends that are just on your level type of thing. Working in groups, I'm not gonna lie. I think that's what that's the most challenging thing about like the food industry. It's like you work in groups in it because like you're basically not doing it all on your ones. Because obviously you have to make sure that everyone's following standards and everything. So that's what makes that's what's much more challenging about this. Yeah. Um, challenging. It will be probably dealing with customers that don't really have much respect. Maybe that's the most challenging thing. But otherwise, from that, it's okay. This is a valuable um, organization. Vigilance. <laughs> and being on time, timekeeping. It will be communication, teamwork, and patience. It differs because I've got a lot more responsibility now, but the thing about that, it's, it's, it's a challenge as well, compared to what I was doing before. It's much more of a challenge, but obviously, sometimes you just got to step up to it, you know what I'm saying? It's going well, it's going well. It's good to see the business grow and grow, and keep growing.